The crossbow might be busted. So I saw this video on Twitter of Elvis Cod absolutely destroying a Mega Abomination. So I thought it'd be fun to use. So let's go ahead and try to get it Golden Ivory. Now, before we look at the camos, this is the build I'm going with. It's probably not the greatest build, but I tried to make this as fast as possible because we don't need a whole lot of range. I feel like the zombies are going to be up close on us the whole time. And I'm using the Bright Blaze Bolts. These are the ones with the thermite tips. But the devs had to have known that this weapon is broken just by looking at the camo challenges. To start out, we need 250 kills with it, which is just basic. Every gun has that. But then we move over to here where this needs 250 kills with rare or higher rarity. And then we need to get 10 mangler kills with it. So we're going to need to be in some higher tier zones or be doing bounties. And then for the last one, we need to get 50 armored zombie kills. And armored zombies only start spawning once you get to the tier two and tier three zones. And then once all that's done, if we get 100 kills with it and extract, we'll get it golden ivory. And to help us see how many kills we have, I'm going to throw a gun screen on here and see if this actually helps us track them. To start us out, I absolutely filled up my backpack with everything I had in my acquisition stash and everything I could craft just to make sure we can get this thing up to par. But before I use any of it, let me make sure it's the right kind of bolt. Looks like it. All right, sweet. Let's activate all of these. And for those of you that are trying to get camos done that require you to have a rare, higher rarity or a certain ammo mod on it, I got my my aether tools there is like little aether orbs that float around i destroyed a few of those and i got it from there uh, i also got them from contracts and then for the ammo mods i usually get them from the infant stations like this one over here uh, i don't think it's always guaranteed but i get them a decent amount and then on top of that just doing contracts i get them a, a decent amount randomly as well and this thing is a one-shot kill it's looking like but it's also doing some damage to me. Maybe we need PhD. Oh yeah, there's a napalm burst in here and a cryo freeze or a dead wire, I mean. I'm gonna leave that for this guy. I don't need either of those. I'm gonna start immediately going for these bounty contracts because we might get a few manglers and it'll help us get some money to be able to pack a punch some more. But since I came in here with all this stuff, this game is almost guaranteed to crash. So let's try to get as much done as we can before then. But the crossbow being nice like this kind of reminds me of like the Warzone 1 era on Verdansk when the crossbow came out for Modern Warfare 2019, or I don't know if it just came out or if just people started using it, but it was so much fun hopping in there with like the explosive bolts, the thermite bolts, and just knocking people with it, shooting vehicles. It was a fun time. What was that, Elemental Pop? Give me that. Also reminds me of some Daryl Dixon. I could use a crossbow and zombies and not think of that. And I just noticed now we're, we're almost at our bounty that it's a mimic. Normally what you can do if you're looking for like a specific mob type, you can just grab the bounty contracts because most of them will respawn. And then just cancel them until you get the mob that you want. All right, this mimic's done. See you later, mimic. Ooh, there we go. Easy. A brain rot schematic? I'll take that for sure. Hopefully we can actually leave with it. But with the thermite damage, it's kind of like the bow from Cold War. That kill streak that you can grab? Because that was a one-hit melee kill on basically every elite. That thing is disgusting. That is like the goat of first room challenges on that game. Okay, now we got a mangler contract. Can we get them from here? Oh, yeah, we can. It's actually taking way more bolts than I thought I was going to, though. He die, please. Ooh, ooh, and I don't like him getting close to me like that. That fire damage is crazy. Honestly, I don't know if PHD would help because it is all just fire damage. But it kind of hurt to try. Oh, some more speed cola. And we get a monkey bomb. I'm just going to stow that for now. We could use it later. Well, that's one mangler down, nine to go. We got to start speeding this up. All right, that tier one mangler had a decent amount of health, but maybe we can still do something against a tier two. Oh, it's a disciple. I might as well just cancel this right away. These disciples have way too much health. Ain't no way. Immediately canceled. Not happening. Maybe we just run some cargo to get some money. It's not even worth it to try to kill those things. Oh, and a jug? I'll equip that. We're getting some good loot today. Okay, let's, let's run a few of these until we can get pack a punch too. Honestly, we might as well just run them until we can get pack three. But we also need kills. I'm like torn. This is definitely like the fastest way to make money. But we also need camos at the same time. Go ahead and give me something good here. A cluster mine. I guess I'll just stow that. What if we do a bounty in between these? As long as it's not a disciple, we'll get it done. I just hear a mangler? Oh, what's up, dude? Just the guy I'm looking for. See you later. Adios. There's gotta be like more spots that mangler spawn at. Cause I know mimics all spawn in like the strongholds or like the infestation sites. I don't know where mangler spawn. Probably just out and about. But I'm sure everything spawns in the tier three zones. So that's why I'm trying to get enough money to go there. What's up, mimic? Eat shit. Stay away from me though. While you're eating shit. And I'm out of ammo, but he should still die. Should just burn up. There we go. Where'd our gift spawn, though? It died, but I didn't get my reward. What is this bullshit? I got the money, but no gift. Cheap-ass mimic, dude. Broke-ass mimic. This better give me a fucking reward. 
No more getting scammed. At least they pay out, but not a big payout. All right, where's Pack-A-Punch at? Oh, this is a tier three armored zombie, and I shot one bolt at him, took him to half health. Now my other bolts are just completely whiffing, going right through them. There we go. So it takes two bolts to take out tier three zombies with a Pack-A-Punch one crossbow. That's really good. It also takes a little bit of time. Let's go grab Pack-A-Punch. We'll take a shortcut through the tier three zone. Could honestly just Pack-A-Punch right here. Now I'm thinking about it. If we're fast with it, just don't want to die here. There we go. And there is a Wonder Fizz. So let's throw a quick decoy. Okay, give me um, PhD and let's grab Quick Revive. So we got all of our perks. We got Perkaholic. Oh, there's a Mangler here. Two of them. Little Tesla Storm on him too. I haven't used Tesla Storm yet in this game. This was my goal too in Cold War. It doesn't look like you get points for... Oh, maybe you do. I know you don't. In Cold War, I would love using this because it works basically the same as Aether Shroud or like Frenzied Guard where you're like, you're not really taking a whole lot of damage while you're doing it. And you would get points for every time you stun the zombies, but I guess they nerfed it in this. Oh, well, let's get back to making some money. But it's looking like we only got 18 minutes left on top of the 15 minutes we get in the storm, which isn't a whole lot. I think we just go to the tier three zone. We'll get a decent amount of zombies there. The zombies we kill there should give us a decent amount of money as well. Or at least we could get some if we kill a lot and we'll be able to get some manglers. Where's a mega abomination? I just want to talk oh there's our brain dead camo and our severed oh yeah i was right we're getting swarmed a lot of zombies over here not a whole lot of armor though or manglers for that matter i haven't seen a single one since we came back here but i hear one i hear the, the sweet sound of that gun where are you pal there he is see you later bitch they got any contracts up here still we can do a big game bounty one of these bad boys oh wait there's the mega abomination i've been waiting for and a mangler Oh, but we are very low health with no armor. Let's throw a decoy so the zombies can leave me alone so I can regen. And how much damage is this doing to the Mega Bomb? Okay. This is doable. So doable. Die, bitch. Throw another decoy. Zombies, leave me alone, please. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I gotta throw a nade. It's about to shoot a laser, though. So we have to take cover. Those lasers aren't fucking around. Another quick nade. I need these zombies to drop me ammo now. Okay, we got a little bit. We got a few dollops. That might do it right there. Or at least get us close. Mangor, you can get some, too. I ain't forget about you. And you should be dead now. See you later. Did they even drop anything good when it's just the random roaming ones? I guess let's go see. Looks like a bunch of essence and jug. And then they put me down, bastard. I guess I'll just stow the jug for now. We could use it in another game. Let's go try to do this bounty. Oh, and it's a mega abomination too. We could get lucky here and get another ray gun schematic. Honestly, I had no idea how lucky I was when I did that video. I thought it was guaranteed, but we just got stupidly lucky when we tried. Let's see if we're still lucky. Oh, wait, is that a deadbolt turret on this building? Let me use that. We've already shown how good this crossbow is, and I need to use this deadbolt turret anyways. How do I get up there? How do I get on this roof? Oh, ladder. Usually a good option. Let's toss it in there. Deposit. Fuck him up, turret. You cover me while I take out this guy. This thing should be dead within seconds. Crossbow plus this turret. There's no surviving. That's already dead. That was so fast. Let's throw a decoy so we can look through this. What you got for me? Ooh, refined. I'll take that. I actually thought it would be better stuff. I'm not gonna lie. But we got a large backpack here. And another large backpack here. So I guess that's the way to get large backpacks. Where's Pack-A-Punch at? We have enough for Pack-A-Punch 3. Are we even done with all of our camos? I saw our 250 kills pop up. I saw our 50 armored kills pop up. I don't think we've gotten all of our manglers. I think we're like one or two off. So if there's any manglers out there, hit my line. But I feel like we have to have our 250 rarity kills. Because we've been at rare rarity this entire game. And now we have no ammo and there's a mangler here. I'll be right back, sir. Don't you go anywhere. Give me pack three. I love how fast that is. And now we got all the ammo in the world to work with. See a mangler? Is that all of our mangler kills? It is, let's go. But we only got four minutes until the storm comes in. So I wanna try this little side Easter egg. Apparently there is a way to unpack a punch your weapon and come out with the crystal, but apparently it's not 100%. So you might get a crystal or a aether wrench, but we're gonna find out. But let me make some room in my inventory. I'm gonna throw this cluster mine. That should take out all the zombies behind us too. Let's re-equip the jug. Anything else in here we can just get rid of? 
I guess I'll just drop the large backpack. We already got one. Let's throw a quick monkey bomb. Nothing's quick about this. This shit takes forever to throw. And up here near this flag is where we should be able to do it. Because we have Mr. Peaks here, the little bunny. Uh, let me throw another one. Shit. Get the mimic killed. And we should be able to pay our respects or something here. I don't really know how to do it. Oh, I just gave me the prompt a second ago. Maybe just there needs to be no zombies around. There it is. Pay respects. Okay, we unpack a punched our weapon and we got our reward here. That gave us a tier two pack a punch and an ammo mod to leave with. Okay, assuming we get out of here. We still got two self revives though. I think we're all right. As long as we fucking bolted out of here. No pun intended. There was also a green aether wrench in there, but those are so common. I'm not even touching it. So we didn't keep pack three, but pack two is still a very good thing to start out a game with. Let's try to get out of here. I love how there was like a color change when you get out of like any of the tier zones like it just kind of grayed out over here or it has a little bit of a, like a bluer tint and then once you're in tier two zone it's like breaking bad in mexico oh wait the x helicopter is already here wait for me don't leave without me all right let's go i hope we had enough i'm pretty sure we got everything we needed to get done we actually might have just had a full flawless game and got every camo in the same one so we successfully x filled okay we had 655 zombie kills 14 mercenary and got out with pretty decent stuff that was a really successful run look at this that was my fifth mega abomination kill. That's sweet. And only, I only see three camos here. What's going on? I didn't see us getting gold. How is that possible? How did I only get 93 kills with rare or higher? That doesn't make any sense. It was rare the whole game. Is it because it was the like thermite killing them? That's lame. All right, well, I guess we'll, we'll hop back into it. Right, I'm putting this on rare right away. A little speed cola, a little napalm burst, a little jug, and pack a punch too. I'm not playing around. We have the cargo delivery here in the middle area. Let's go do it. I already know this gun can handle itself over there. Pack a punch too. So let's go get a nice reward for it. And then we'll sit here and grind out all of our rare kills. Oh, did the contract just leave? It got unpinned. I'm hoping that's just a time thing and somebody didn't get it. Because Philly Z made a video on getting this contract. Shout out Philly Z, by the way. But it's got to be like the best contract in the game for getting like rare stuff. Like for getting schematics and all that. Okay, nobody took it. So we're still good. I'm about to say, I've been just making a beeline here since I spawned. On. There's no way somebody made it there faster. What the fuck is a B line, by the way? Why we skip an A line? Give me the contract. Let's go complete it. So if we just toss a quick decoy, all the zombies will fuck off. We can launch this thing open. Hop in the car. And all we gotta do is deliver now. Beautiful. Fast and easy contract. What we got in here? Ooh! Refined schematic. Nice aether tool. Oh, let's not die from it, though. Is that the pack punch 2 schematic? Yeah, refined, not raw. That's actually insane. I'm kind of just debating X-filling with it right now, just to be safe. I might go do that. Because it's lucky enough just to find one of those crystals. To be able to craft them is crazy. Okay, bring that helicopter in here now. I'm not playing around with the schematic. We'll come right back and get our rare kills. And actually, that was a good time to test to see if we are getting any rare kills. I want to see if it is the thermite tip that's doing it. Because I think if we get some critical kills maybe it'll account them let me try to focus on those a little bit all right let's leave beautiful we made it out that was so worth it refined ethereum diagram and we still got a rare tool so it's not like we even lost ours and it says i killed 64 zombies here let's see if i got 64 kills towards our progress oh uh, hold on 128 minus 93 we got 35 kills out of that that's weird why is track so little of them? But it don't matter because we have one of these bad boys. It has a 16 hour cooldown. That's crazy. Why does even the rare one have a two hour cooldown? That should be like 30 minutes tops. Well, let's craft one. We already got one in storage. Might as well use this. And just for some more testing, I'm taking off the thermal bolt. I was throwing like an under barrel or something just to make sure we get this camo done and over with. All right, let's toss this on, this on in this and grind these kills out i am worried though we do have full attachments and pack a punch on this i don't know if it's gonna count for our golden enigma challenge everyone says that if your shit's not counting to take off all attachments and don't pack a punch but if it don't work it's it's not that big of a deal we can just hop into another game no attachments and just try to crank it out it is only 100 kills but with the way it kills track in this game might be a thousand kills maybe we should try to get something out of this game since we're just going for rare kills i'm gonna try to do these infestations See if I can get some deadbolt circuits to spawn. And then we can get one of our missions done. Because I'm falling behind on those. I should probably just do at least one mission per camo grind. I think I might have more weapons gold than I have missions done. Which is crazy. I have not really touched these missions. We got jug. But I don't see any deadbolt circuits. There's none in here. And that's literally the only thing to loot. What a weak infestation. Right, let's see if we can knock out this stronghold. Damn it's spawning a 
fuck ton of zombies too. We need the kills anyways. And I threw that kill tracker on here. Have not checked it this whole time. Literally just remembered about it. Once this frenzy guard's gone, we can go ahead and look at it. Oh yeah, you can see that it says zero on both. What's the point? Oh, and there's our swamp camo. Let's go. All right, let's just finish off this stronghold. I think try to exfil. Hello, Mimic? Mimic, do you have a hitbox? No? Actually, that works to our favor then. It's got a hitbox for the zombies not be able to walk through it. Oh, never mind. I lied. There's another Mimic. Let me out of here. Please. Oh, I almost hurtled him out. All right, you guys asked for it. I don't want to have to do this, but I will. Bring in that jug. Give me that. All right, Mimic, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. What's up, dickhead? Later, bitch. Same thing goes to all of you. Oh, another Mimic? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I talk too much shit. But it's dumbass could not get to the door. I got so lucky. I was definitely dead right there. We would have missed our exfil. There's a deadbolt circuit. I forgot we were even doing that, to be honest. Oh, and there's two more. That should be good enough, right? Oh, no. I think they need to be the ammo mod ones. So I only have one ammo mod one. That sucks. Let's see if this even gives us progress, though. Deposit that. Did we get progress? Oh, we got one out of three. Sucks none of these are ammo mods, though. I guess we can keep looking for more. Doing all kinds of side quests today. This one's huge. We can still knock it out. Oh, fuck. They got a mangler on the roof. Have one of those. Oh, refined crystal. Oh, I know they had those just on the ground. But we just keep getting packed a bunch of two crystals every time we hop in the game. We're lucky as fuck today. Where are these last cysts at? I swear there's probably like one more. Oh, here. Okay, maybe more than one. Where the fuck are they hiding? Oh, in here. There we go. Cleared it. Okay, what items we got? One of you is going to be a mimic, right? I'm just waiting for it. Oh, maybe there won't be one. We got another ammo mod for our turret. We get one more, then we're good. Let's go do one more stronghold. Better have another one in here for me. Okay, there can't be more than like one more cyst in here. I have no idea where it is. That's a fucking light. It almost got me. That's got to be the last one. There we go. Finally. And there's another ammo mod. That's what we're looking for. Okay, where is the closest turret? Now let's throw this in here. Rev up. Take out them zombies. This should be the only turret strat people use. Because it does the same amount, maybe even more, than a sentry turret. And it don't fucking crash the lobbies. There's actually another turret down here that I can go ahead and throw the other one in. So let's toss that in. And we got our mission done. Oh, it gave us a free perk for it. Now let's go exfil. Just in time. The helicopter's getting here. Now hopefully it actually tracked our golden ivory challenge. Oh no, the game's starting to lag bad. Please let me leave. 12 seconds to get out. Please don't crash right when I'm trying to exfil. One second. Lift off. Go ahead. Get out of here. Leave, motherfucker. Wait, there's two of you. Why is this the motherfucker? the only motherfucker that talks but we made it out we got a mission done hopefully we got our camos done too made it out with some goodies show me my camo please what how did we not get gold are you fucking kidding me this is busted all right i'm taking all attachments off we're just going in and raw dogging it so dumb that would have been the perfect game too actually the first game would have been the perfect game if it actually counted all right well i guess we'll try again if it don't work this time i'm giving up on it okay um i'm not gonna use any of this besides speed cola and the second an exfil shows up i'm going to it and getting my 100 kills and leaving actually i'm gonna get a little over 100 to make sure this is a pain in the ass without pack a punch though Having a reload after every shot sucks. It's not even a one-shot kill unless I'm hitting them in the head. Look at this. Bam. Not even half their health. Or just about half their health. Why are all the zombies just falling over and dying? I'm not even, like, shooting them. What's happening? Is somebody just, like, sniping all the zombies before I can get to them and I'm not seeing, like, the bullet trail or something? Right, I've been in this game for a bit. I feel like I got enough kills. Let's try it. Please give me my camo. So we had 154 zombie kills. Definitely had enough kills. And definitely extracted. Please, let's go. So to anybody out there having trouble with getting their golden enigma or golden ivory, take all your attachments off. Don't pack a punch. Don't get any rarity. Get your kills and get out. But just be safe. Let's check and make sure we got it. All right, cool. Let's hop in game and see what it looks like there. This looks fancy with golden ivory. What a nice looking gun. On top of it being busted. Just make sure you take those attachments off though if you want to unlock it. But this thing was nice. We got a lot done, got a lot unlocked, can't complain. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that this crossbow is busted and I'm glad that we finally had it golden ivory. Might have taken us a little bit, but at least we got a chance to unlock some stuff along the way. You know, get a mission done. You know, we're very productive. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Again, thank you guys so much for all your love and support since this game came out. I truly do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Later.